In this video, we will learn some learn some more basic questions and uh, responses of spoken English for beginners level, and then uh, some uh, advanced level questions on typical situations. You are listening to Ram Gwala from a western part of uh, New Delhi. So, uh, without wasting our time, let's uh, start. Uh, let's get started with our discussion on, on this topic. Let's talk about greetings and then uh, introductory questions and their responses. Suppose that uh, you met one of your friends and he or she wants to introduce you to his or her father. Suppose that there are two friends, uh, Deepak and Ajay. Ajay says, I want to introduce you to my father. His father says hello to Deepak and in response, Deepak says hello. And later he asks Ajay's father, how are you? To keep the conversation to the next level. Now, some of uh, you might say, how do you do? Instead of replying to his father with hello, in this context, we should, uh, we should not com confuse with how are you and how do you do? Now, in the above example, uh, when we say how are you after saying hello to Deepak's father, it's uh, just fine. Let's change the question for the above introductory uh, greetings. Ajay's father says, how do you do? And Deepak's, Deepak says, I'm fine or I am doing well. Thank you. In the second context, it is wrong when Deepak said, I am fine. So what could be his response? He should reply with the same greeting, which, which is, how do you do? This is a greeting like hello. So hello gets same reply with hello. Same goes for how do you do with how do you do? The above discussion is about the correction as far as grammar goes. But if uh, you wish to use I am fine or I am doing well, fine is response to how do you do. It is relevant and nobody would disagree. You can use it, but we should not uh, keep in mind. We should keep that keep in mind that the correct and uh, formal usage is how do you do with response how do you do. Now let's take how are you. We can understand this uh, question more specifically and categorically when we put this uh, question uh, side by side, how are you doing? How are you is more specific to a particular situation or it is more correct when we are referring to a person's uh, current situation of how they are doing with their health or mood. It's kind of a personal question. Uh, when we are uh, for a general inquiry of the environment and day, we can go with how are you doing, which is similar to a question like how is your day so far. This question is relevant when we want to uh, know how the person is going on with his day or his environment and the particular uh, day. We have one more question that sounds uh, similar to how are you is how have you been in the perfect present tense. If we know, uh, know someone for a long time and uh, if we happen to meet them uh, for a particular uh, situation, we can ask this question, how have you been? To know how they have been doing since the last time uh, they met until the current time. In contrast to this, how are you mean to know how someone is doing at the current time in terms of their health and mood. Now, Let's go back to the previous uh, qu qu two questions, which are how are you and how are you doing? We have understood the difference between these two questions, uh, how to use them. However, I have been using both to mean the same thing. How are you doing? To mean how are you and vice versa. And I have found uh, people using the same way. So it is just fine. Uh, as long as the other people understands the response we are looking to get from. But the thing is that we, sh we need to keep, uh, we need to know the difference between them and uh, the actual meaning contained in them. As for how are you, we can ask with these questions, how's it going? How are things progressing? Uh, progressing? Uh, and what's up? To mean the same. So how are you? How's it going? How are things progressing and uh, what's up have got the same meaning. Little bit more 
extension on WhatsApp, it has got three different meanings or even more. WhatsApp can mean to ask how someone is and uh, similar to, no, uh, to how are you. It can also mean what's happening in your, in your life, what's happening, uh, which uh, again mean uh, what, uh, what someone has been doing. It can also mean what is the matter uh, and uh, what, what the problem is and it can mean uh, when someone is upset or uh, unwell. WhatsApp can also mean a general greeting. I prefer to answer with a hello if any stra stranger asks me this question and especially on phone, on the phone. So what could be the answers to these questions? For how are you? You can say I'm fine, thanks and thank you. You can also say well I'm good and uh, I'm alright. Someone would say I'm uh, doing good or I'm doing well. But uh, doing good and doing well are widely used and even I use it uh, sometimes to mean the same thing. But I think I'm doing good is not as correct as um, I'm doing well because good is not adverb rather than adjective. So it's better to use I am doing well. I would like to mention, uh, I'd like to make some clarification on thanks and thank you that I mentioned in, in the statement. I am fine, thanks and thank you. Thanks is slightly informal and thank you is formal. By the word informal, I mean casual, relaxed, friendly and unofficial. Opposite to this, the word formal is official and according to norms and standards. Again, when we say thanks and thank you, it is uh, actually followed by for along with the reason for thanking the person addressed to. Let's go back to uh, the, the example we talked about already. For the question, how are you? Uh, we can say, uh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking or thank you for asking. Additionally, uh, we often say thanks a lot or thanks so much and thank you very much. Um, we should not interchange uh, the expression a lot so much with a very much. So it should be, I am fine. Thanks a lot for asking or thanks so much for asking and thank you very much for asking. For how are you doing? How is it going? How are things progressing? If these questions are related to a general inquiry on the day and environment and not similar to how are you in its meaning, the answer would be I am doing well. Thank you, for, thank you very much for asking. By saying this, you mean that your day has been good so far. And regarding the questions of what's up, I find it uh, rather confusing. I never ask this question to anyone, and I I would suggest you not you to avoid this question uh, because it makes people confused. But people might ask you this question, so we need to understand. Uh, understand this question from the viewpoint of context in which it is asked. If it is meant by how are you, the, the answer would be all right or I'm fine uh, or just well enough. As I discussed already, it can also mean what's happening in your uh, life, what's happening, which can again mean what someone has been doing. Answer would be nothing, nothing much. It's just fine or simply nothing and we can also say uh, as usual depending on the context. It can also mean what, what, what is the matter and what the problem is and it can mean why someone is upset or unwell. In this context, uh, if you are doing well with your work, your answer would be I am doing well or it's going well. If someone someone's work is not going well, then I am not doing well or I am not fine with my work or I am a little upset today or just fine. That's all for today. I uh, will uh, cover up some more important questions um, in the next video. Once we are done with all important questions and responses, I will make uh, videos on expressions and then uh, contextual topics followed by vocab vocabulary, uh, phrases, phrasal verbs, pronunciation and so on. The, the 
above discussion is for learning purpose uh, but i i do not want you to force yourself yourself too much on them if you are a beginner uh, slowly and gradually i believe you will get uh, habituated with uh, all those questions and responses and uh, as you keep uh, practicing practice is uh, urgently required so keep practicing